Well, here we are in Brunswick, Maryland. Oh, hi, everybody. It's uh, week, just week eight. Wow, I've been doing this for two months now. Jeez. But um, I'm just here to dump some trash. And um, this is my dad's shop right here. You can't really see anything in it, but see all this? None of this was here the last time I was here. I haven't been here in a few years. And uh, but if, I don't know if you can see, it's really bright out here, but um, on the other side of those fences over there, you got a train yard, and there's a train going by, even as I speak. So yeah, this is, I just figured I'd show this little place off. Lovely. So yeah, um, next video is probably coming from the party. Well, the porch is screened in again. A couple extra speakers for the band. As you can see the porch has been totally, just about totally cleared out. Bunch of tables and chairs. A turkey fryer to cook the corn. <laughs> and of course, the most important part over here. At least in my opinion. You have three guesses as to what's underneath this towel, or this blanket, and the first two don't count. And I'm not sure, I think we might have enough wine. I'm actually here. Pig roast red and pig roast white down there. It's uh, a good friend of ours actually made it, so that's cool. So yeah, we're pretty much set here. All that's left to do is wait for people to show up and set up signs to tell them not to park in the driveway. So yeah, see you once uh, things really get going. We have 45 pounds of smoked pork. We're just heating it up now on the grill. Hell yeah. And probably the last moment I'm going to have to myself. So, cheers everybody. Go Skins. Let's party. Alright, well, let's see if we can get all this uh, stuff up. What do you think? How do you feel about um, if we taped our poster here in front of your TV? Well, this is why we have it. bit bright out here. Ow. My brain really hurts right now. Ugh. Outdoor bar. Ready for Boise State vs. Tech. Hell yeah! Well folks, it's that time of year. It is the time of the goddamn. They're on everything. They are everywhere. And I swear to God, they can fucking pass through glass. I don't care how well you have your house sealed up. These things get inside. Um, they showed up last year for like the first time. And um, they certainly come back this year. So yeah, that sucks. When the doorknob is held in place with paper towels, you know you're at a quality establishment. Hey everyone, um, I got a quick question for you tonight. Just it, it's Wednesday, it's trivia night, but I'm I've given up on asking any of the trivia questions because no one's answered a single one of them. So fuck it. Um, <clears throat> here's one question I do hope you'll answer though. I'm not sure I really want to start anything new, recording-wise, since uh, Civ 5 is coming out less than three weeks from now, it, it being Wednesday night. And, um, yeah, I mean, maybe if I absolutely took devoted as much free time to it as I could, I might be able to knock out Half-Life 2. 
But aside from that, both I don't, I don't know if Awakenings is really short or not, since I still haven't played it yet. And Faye will definitely take too long. So, what, what do you guys think? If I, if I try, I might be able to knock out Half-Life 2, or if Awakenings is short enough. But aside from that, I really don't want to get into anything too deep until Civ 5 comes out. So, what do you think? Hey everybody, uh, still here on week 8. Hope you enjoyed the party, or what bits I showed to you. But um, now it is time for college games that you should watch week 2. And I gotta say, I totally called it with Auburn, Mississippi State. It's in the fourth quarter right now. Uh, Mississippi State's got the ball. Auburn is up 17 to 14. Close game. Should be exciting. Um, I'd like to watch it, but of course we don't have ESPN here. Instead, we're watching Vikings versus um, <coughs> Saints, of course. Cause if you like football, who isn't watching opening day kickoff? But yeah, that's it's it's turning out to be as good a game as I hoped it would be. So that's a nice thing. Um, and also, I said that Central Michigan versus Temple had the potential to be a decent game. I think I did. I should have, because it did end up being it went into overtime, and uh, Temple won it three to ten. That's good for them. Um, yeah, let's see. So tomorrow we've got West Virginia's going to kick the crap out of Marshall. Yeah. Now, Saturday. There is an absolute glut of really, really good games to watch. I mean, let me go over the highlights first. Well, some of the big, the some of the big ones. Okay, sorry, I've just got the uh, every game that's every excuse me Division One A game that's being played in front of me. So it takes me. I have to sift through it. But to start things off, Georgia versus South Carolina. Um, Steve Spurrier's probably got the best team he's had in South Carolina in a long time, and Georgia is always a solid team. They hope, here's hoping that they're better on defense this year, but um, Georgia versus South, Car South Carolina, that's, that's going to be a really good game. If you have the potential to watch that, I recommend it. Um, let's see, Georgia Tech versus Kansas. Kansas won yesterday or last week. I might have given it credit, but now Georgia Tech should win that. Florida versus South Florida might be interesting, but I won't. Uh, I, I wouldn't hold your breath on that. Uh, <laughs> I hope if anybody out there likes football, I really hope that you watch the uh, Virginia Tech Boise State game because that was that was just a fantastic, fantastic game. And I, I say the better team won. I'm rooting for Boise State to make it to the national championship at this point. They, they should win every game this year. Unfortunately, I think it's going to require either Ohio State or Alabama to lose. And speaking of Alabama, a perennial powerhouse... Well, that's not until 7 o'clock. Let's, let's, let's get through the earlier games first. Miami versus Ohio State. Miami is trying to prove that they deserve to be on the national stage again, and they're trying to uh, redeem themselves after losing to Ohio State in the Fiesta Bowl in 2003, and I think that that is potentially to be a very good game, or Ohio State could prove that Miami doesn't belong this high. I don't think that Miami is going to be able to blow out Ohio State. I think that the opposite does have potential. Then Florida State, another ACC team who's trying to prove themselves to be worthy of uh, national focus, went, is going out to Oklahoma. I think that has got, again, potential, really good potential to be a very good game. I think that that's another one that should be watched. Here we go, two unranked teams. Michigan versus Notre Dame. Both teams have a lot to prove. Notre Dame needs to prove the fact that Brian Kelly, I think I called him Chip Kelly last year, last week, but Brian Kelly, their, their head coach, who uh, was the one who took Cincinnati from being, you know, a moderate team to becoming one of the strongest teams in the Big East, is now coaching Notre Dame. And Michigan has sucked, straight up sucked the past several years. And maybe they're... Their win last week against UConn, which, as I mentioned, I thought would be a good game, and Michigan ended up blowing them out. 
So uh, there, there's a good chance that uh, I, I think that that's, that's another game to watch. That has definitely got national broadcast, so that, that's at least worth uh, flipping over occasionally. Um, BYU Air Force, that should be fun. California should take care of Colorado. Uh, Oregon versus Tennessee. Tennessee used to be a powerhouse. They aren't right now. Oregon should have their way with them. I suspect Oregon's going to blow them out of the water, but it's, it's possible. Uh, now the, the team that I was mentioning before, Alabama. Alabama versus Penn State. This is a game to watch. Joe Paterno, you know, I mean, how many things can you say about him? And I, I, do I think that Penn State's going to win it? No. Do I think that it's going to be an entertaining game? Yes. One to watch. I don't think I'm going to be able to watch it. Well, hell, I'm going to be at a party for that. Um, and I think... <coughs> really, is that it? I think that might be... I could have swore there was like a dozen games that were worth talking about. Uh, no, no. Oh, Stanford versus UCLA could be entertaining. That 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 could be a decent game, uh, though it, it'd be I'd give it more credence if UCLA hadn't lost last week. But hey, maybe maybe Kansas State's actually got something that they can show this this year. Who knows? And uh, the last game on here, USC is playing Virginia. That that's go Cavaliers. I don't think you have a chance. Um. So, anyways, now. Uh, that's over with. There is, of course, one final game that anybody who likes football should watch, and that is happening Sunday night. Redskins versus Cowboys. I know I'll be watching, and I think that you can guess who I'm going to be rooting for. I'm like most Redskins fans. I think that the Cowboys, well, I know I swear a lot, and I use, I use a lot of profanity, and I say some nasty things in my let's plays. There's, there's no arguing that. But at the same time, the things that I have to say about the Cowboys, I think, shouldn't be recorded. So yeah, those are the college games that you should watch. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to this upcoming football season, and a um, uh, little bit of personal thing. I'm going to be, on Saturday, I doubt I'm going to be watching any of these games, unfortunately, because I'm going out to a party where I doubt that there's going to be football on. In fact, I'm not sure that they actually have TV at their house, but it's a what-the-fuck-are-you-wearing party. I, myself, am going to be showing up in my bathrobe and slippers. So, it's going to be a fun time. There's going to be an Everclear trash can, I believe, and, uh, and because of that, I'm going to be bringing my own beer. Because remember this, everybody, Everclear, fucking dangerous. Don't 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 mess with it. You're, you're you can really kill yourself on that stuff, or at least make a complete and utter jackass of yourself and not remember any of it. So remember that it's okay to drink. Just drink responsibly. And, uh, yeah, that's, I think that's it for this week. So, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in week nine. Oh, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, I already mentioned the fact that I don't think I'm going to record anything until SIP 5 comes out, though. I, I was thinking about it. I can probably knock out a, uh, an episode of Strong Bad without too much effort. So, I think I might do that. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I don't know. Some will come out Monday, and maybe it'll just be fear. I can't, I'm not promising anything at this point. Uh, yeah, so see you next week.